Hey, what's up guys, Mirai here, as always, and in this video, I'm going to cover how to share your custom images when sharing your ISBox or profile. If you're looking for how to share just your basic profile with others, then that's a different video and you can check the description for a link on that. Now, if you've created a click bar or a menu using a custom image and you try to share it along with your basic profile, you'll quickly learn that the images don't transfer along with it. Fortunately, there is a solution to this. First, you'll want to create a subfolder within the ISBox or Images folder, which can be found in the Scripts folder of your base install of Innerspace. So, Innerspace folder, Scripts, ISBox or Images, and then your own subfolder. Once you've created that folder and moved your images there, jump back into ISBoxer and under the subsection of either a click bar or menu, right click on Images Global. Choose to create a new image set and give it a name. Next, right click on the image set itself and choose New Image. Now if you've got a bunch of images that you'd like to add all at once, you can use the same file selection shortcuts that are allowed in Microsoft Windows. So you can hold Control and pick and choose which ones you want, or click on one, hold shift, and then click on another to select a specific range, or just hit Control A on your keyboard to select them all. The choice is yours. However, if you already have these images loaded into IS Boxer, then you can just drag and drop them into this particular image set. Just like so. Now once you've added all of your images to your image set, right click on it and select Generate XML File. Here, you'll need to choose a location for the file, and while you can save it anywhere you'd like, it's recommended to put it in the same subfolder alongside your images so that Iceboxer can easily auto-detect it. Now, when you go to share your profile that has a click bar or menu that uses custom images, you can just zip up this folder, have the end user extract it to the same location, and Iceboxer will do the rest. And if for some reason Iceboxer is not detecting the image set, you can manually load the XML file by right-clicking on Images Global and choosing to load it yourself. Now there's just one thing to watch out for, and that's if you're adding images to your image set using both new image files and already existing files that are in different directories. If your image set has files located in completely different directories, you might run into some issues when trying to share them with the end user. So I would suggest using either one method or the other, but not both at the same time. And that covers the basics of sharing your image files with your ISBoxer profile. If you've got any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the ISBoxer forum or the live chat.